So today, I am finishing up the semifinals and finals match for the tournament. And um, yesterday, we well, were on four out of our four tournament games, so I'm number one seed for today. And I'm ready to close up the tournament, guys. So, good luck. <laughs> All right, well, here I am, number one. I'm pretty happy about this. You played well yesterday, and I'm ready to continue playing well today to close out this thing. All right, so let's look at this top 16 finals. We'll be playing against Miles G, Yupin, and Rayman. Let's look at this board. There's one, two, three, four, five, Technically six wheat spots open. Uh, one, two, three ore spots, tech, maybe four and a half. So in the third position, if uh, it's sort of nasty for first and second, I think. But first probably take something like this. Second, I think they could take something like this and they'll be they'll be they'll be able to get away with it. Uh four, five, ten. That's sort of uh, a little ugly. Ooh, I don't like this at all. You're just setting your you're asking yourself to get chopped. So I never actually explained what a free road chop is. Basically, if a second settlement places on the nine five ten. They start off with a wood and a brick. What that does is it gets them a starting road where they can instantly build a road and chop off or cut off another player. A good player sees this, they'll definitely go here Hello. and chop or go here and extort. So they took um, basically all the ore, or they took two ore spots uh, and this guy's pointing towards the wheat, which makes a little bit of sense. So in this spot, right, I think it's a pretty classic, uh, there's a, you know, it's pretty easy, but uh, uh, well, actually, you know, if I quiz you guys, then it might seem like I'm cheating. So, so maybe it's not the best time to quiz you guys. Yeah, yeah I just did the quizzing. Um, I just did the quizzing on YouTube instead of quizzing during a live stream. So, with that said, where would you place as a third position? Go ahead and comment below. Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, and I read every single comment and I try my best to respond to every single one of you. I think right here, the nine five ten is always just the best pick here. Why you might ask? Well, let's look at all the other spots. There's Wood, 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 wood. There's a bunch of wood, and this is the only brick over here. See, there's two ore spots, right? I, I don't think there's any way in hell. Well, theoretically, fourth position could do 9, 5, 12, and 6, 4, 11 to take both ore spots and get on the ore port. That's not a terrible setup for them to do, but it's not the greatest. And if they do do that, I'm still fine. I can always just take something like the 8, 3, 4, and I'll still be very happy, or even the 8, 4, 3, uh, and I'll still be very happy with this setup. Also, one more thing. Look at the sheep. It's pretty, uh, pretty scarce, and this is the best sheep spot, and this is probably not going to get blocked very often. Also, have double three one ports. You usually always want to be getting at least multiple port options because you know ports are pretty essential. So yeah, because of those reasons, I think the nine five ten is by far the best pick here. Um, there's also a free road option. I could do nine five ten free road chopped at nine ten nine five ten six four eleven. Just be happy over here. I could do nine five ten eight four three. Or I could do nine five ten eight four three up here. So basically, this spot has a lot of outs, and that's why I think it's the best pick. Um, blue. I guess what uh orange plans to do is maybe take something like the six three. Red could even take this um with a wheat port. So what that tells me is that there's going to be a lot of space on this board, making wood brick even stronger. So, well, yeah. But usually, but by, by placing like how they place, there's going to be a lot of open space on this board. So let's see what fourth will do. 843 makes a little bit of sense. Maybe he's trying to do 843, 6411. Okay. Is he going to do the free road chop? Let's see. In general, as fourth position, it's a little bit risky to do a free road chop. And the reason why it's a do a four, uh, risky to do free road chop is because... What's it going to take you to... Ah, right, what is it going Miles to SG, don't he's an extorter. Give me, gotta give me something good. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Um, you've been. It's okay. So, if I roll a brick at the very beginning of the game, I can always feed it to you. Oh, no, it's okay. That seems. I mean, uh. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna say for a price, obviously. Like, I'm not gonna just hand it to you for free. Rare. I have 6411, 843. I've got the entire board to myself. But I really wanted to uh, be tough on these guys, right? I could do something like this, then. Orange over here is a force to take this, and then red is to take something like this. And they have like, pretty low wheat. And, um, I mean, I'll get locked out of ore, but I might have to trade pretty heavily for ore. I could always take the 643 and point downwards to the 84, but who takes the 84? I think uh, orange could always take the 84. Red could always take the 84. Um, so, yeah, that's a little bit sus. 843. Do you ever take the 843 and just go for a wood brick setup? Uh, the thing is, the issue with this is orange might take the 810, and that sort of bones me over since this 8 just gets pounded. All he's thinking, I would just like to point out that the light of the Z is going to be oh the only God. person who's on that 5 sheep, which is the only good sheep in the game. Yeah, I'll trade it to you guys. It's all good. Alright, I'm gonna do this here. So I didn't explain this well on stream, but the main reason why I took the 843 was for a defensive reason. See, if I take the 6411, I end up giving orange the 8310, which gives orange double ore, double sheep, and double wheat, which is a very, very, very good setup. It's too good of a setup. So if I go in the 843, then 
I push him off of the 8-3-10 and make him take a coastal spot like the 8-10 or the 6-3. And that weakens the setup significantly. More importantly, that decreases the amount of sheep Orange gets, which limits the amount of dev cards he's able to buy. So I decided to do the 8-4-3 as a defensive placement to fight against Orange, since I thought he would be too strong if he has double or double wheat and double sheep. Are you thinking yeah, this... 6 4 11 on the right? She should think that. She should think no. that. I need wheat, right? Yeah, he's so going to take this. At the 8 10 3 yeah, to okay. 1 port. The, so what I... I also know that if the light bit. gets up to 6 4 11, then I think we've pretty much lost. Like, That's true. He has everything then. All five resources. No, she sh she should take there. 6 4 11, Pierre. thinking of taking the wheat port. Yeah. Um, to be honest. I think for sure that's a good setup for you, but I. I don't think it's good enough to win. Like, I think his setup becomes too strong if you do that. If you take the 6 4 11, you then I'll give you the 3 to 1 board. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Green offers up the 9 10 in order for Red to take the 6 4 11, which is objectively a pretty good spot for Red, anyways. The 9 10 is very, very important for Green. How does Green offload the wood production? Do they have any brick? <clears throat> no. Are they going to be getting any brick trades? Mm, probably <clears throat> not. Are they on a wood port at all? <clears throat> no, they're not. So basically, green's gonna have a lot of trouble offloading their wood, which is gonna make their hands stuck with a lot of wood, which is why I don't recommend giving up a 9-10 spot, which is in a great spot just for your opponent to take what is a correct spot in green's mind. And the reason why yeah. green wants that is because he gets the 6-3 spot at the very end. I, mean, yeah, <laughs> I, think, that's, I think that's that's what we should do, yeah. Alright, this is a little bit tougher. Everyone, we block the lighted from having access to... Yeah. The ore. He can't okay. get to the ore. That's way too strong. Yeah, so this guy, I can tell Raymond's already quite good, so that's good. He, he knows what he's doing. He's tabletopped right. it correctly, made a defensive placement. I think my goal here is to try to exploit red over here for ore as much as possible. Um, that's my goal. So I have to track really precisely in this game. Double nine. He has a road. He decided not that. Uh, okay. Double nine, eight, eight, eight. Um, I can exploit by doing this. This is a fine play. She wants a dev card? Yeah, she wants a dev card. Red, uh, does this help you at all? Get a dev card at all? No, it's okay. All right. Um, I'll take a break. Maybe I'll do, uh, I'll do something like this, but then like with a non-block. Now, if you're a newer player, you're probably like, what the hell is a non-block? But basically, it's a I owe you for the robber where you can't put the robber on me in the future. Fun fact, I actually came up slash popularized this idea. And that's why I love this game, because there's still so many new ideas that are constantly being thought of today that we can still implement into the game today. Even though Catan has been out for more than 30 years, there's still strategy developing in the competitive scene, which I absolutely love. This game is actually a new game in terms of strategy, and there's still being new things learned every single day. Uh, so just don't put it on me the next time. Yeah. Sure, I won't block you next Oh, time. Green also uh, said yes. Oh. Let's go ahead and look at this trade, since this is actually a very, very interesting decision. Both Green and Red are saying yes to this trade, and I'm offering a one-for-one one along with a non-block, so they don't block me in the future. Now, if I take this trade with Green, right, well, they don't put the robber on me, but they do put the robber on the six ore. So that's a spot that they'd naturally be blocking anyways. So the non-block, it's actually not that good for me, since they're probably not going to be blocking me anyways. But on red, on the other hand, if I do take the non-block deal, well, red would be putting the robber on me. They'd be putting it on the 8 wheat, the 10 wheat, or the 9 brick if I'm doubled up on it. But if I take the non-block deal with red, then they're forced to put the robber not on me, so it goes on an awkward spot such as the 8 wood or the 9 wood or something pretty terrible. However, if I trade with red, I give them the brick, and that has some dangerous implications. Basically, I need to take away Red's wood port since we're in a race. If Red gets the 9-10 and if they get the 4 wood wood port, then they're in a very, very strong position. So I need to be the person taking that away. And I don't want to be giving them the bricks for them to cut me off onto the 4 wood. On the other side, if I take this trade with Green, it means he blocks a 6 ore. But Green does that anyways, so the non-block is sort of, well, almost wasted in a sense. However, What's really important is that green is on no sheep. So what that means is green probably won't be buying that many dev cards since green doesn't want to be wasting the rare sheep on dev cards. They want to be using it for settlements if possible. Future trade can only be activated whenever green rolls a 7, but there's only a 17% chance you roll a 7 on your turn. So what that means is if green doesn't buy a knight and move the robber and fulfill his deal now, that means 
This deal is probably to come back a lot, lot later in the future, which makes me a lot more comfortable getting ahead in the future, knowing that green cannot block me one time. I also want to say I'm trading away my bricks early for ore because the brick lose value later in the game. And I also have no ore. So if I can get an early city with no ore, that's quite good for me. The thing is, if you don't trade away your bricks early and you hoard them, well, you tend to get robbed for it and then you don't get any value through your trades. So that's why I like to try to go ahead and trade my early brick for ore so I can get a city and I can trade away the brick while it's valuable. Green with a non-block. Alright. It's just essential that I get early ores as soon as possible with all this wheat. Um, and also, in, in spots like these, right? Um, okay, yeah, so he gets a turn one city. Holy crap, a turn one city, dude. Jeez. All right, I really need to track harder. Hey, Yupin, do you need my brick still? It's yes. A... Okay, cool. For ore. For ore? What about like you're a two for two? Uh, you're since... giving him a city. You're giving him a city with the two ore. Well, I'll okay. do one ore for a brick. You will do one ore for a brick. Uh, I... You gave it to everyone else. <laughs> but that's what, uh, that's what the, like, a non-block. Um, I think this is fine to just buy D. Especially since I'm at seven cards. And I have to pound, pound this. Another brick here in the spot? Okay. You want the brick? Any, uh, yeah. You need a brick and sheep, right? I, yes, I do. Oh, uh, well, I can give you the settlement. Well, the thing is, I don't have wheat either, so. Okay, I... well, I can give you all three, but you gotta, what, what can you offer me? Everything be all right. wood and. It's all wood and two wheat. No, I don't, I can't do this. Sorry. Sorry, green. It's just, it just clogs the hell out of my hand. It's terrible for yeah, me. Yeah, no, I understand. It's a nasty I'll spot. Your for that brick. Ten, ten. Oh, I was gonna give it to green. Uh, let's see. What can you offer me? I'm off I'm looking for ore. One ore. No, I don't think I can do it <laughs> for one ore. Since green is offering one me quite a good deal. A wood. One ore and a wood. Okay, okay, I'll take this. Okay, so okay. I was I was the reason I was hesitant about that trade is I might get seven out right now. Okay, eight, eight. So okay, I can pro I can get a city here. Alright. Um, Green, this is what you needed, yeah. right? At this point, I could do two war for a brick and be fine with that trade. Okay, so Orange with the city. How about we do this trade over here, and the next time you, you can put it on me, just steal from Orange uh, after the, like, the non-block. Okay. Fine. Since I think he is with the city, and I, I, I really want him to get I army mean, competition, which is why I'm helping guy, you do this. This guy has nine yeah, cards, totally. and you... Ten cards and two ore, that's basically a city too. So, I got this trade because of tracking. But not only that, I forced a hand reveal the turn before. Green's hand is currently two ore, five wood, and one wheat. Which gives me perfect information to get a strong trade. Now, I think this is a pretty fair trade with Green and I. It favors me a little bit more. It gives Green a settlement when the hand is currently stuck. And it brings them under eight cards. So if there's seven rolls, they don't lose half of it. But I think a better trade for green would to be offer one wood and two ore for a sheep and a brick. Hence green starts to four for one the wood. I also think green should say no to the future non-steal. I think this is a pretty fair trade, but once you add in the future non-steal, the trade starts to favor me a lot more. I'm collecting these future non-steals slash non-blocks because it makes me comfortable a lot more later in the game if I can go ahead and take a lead since, well, I won't be getting robbed from green at least. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm comfortable trading a city, I mean, especially when he's not on war yeah. anywhere. So I think this is. I don't blame fine. him for that trade. It's good for both of them. So yeah, since it gets him a settlement and he gets a city, and the settlement for him on the six three is very good. So I think this is a and fair I'm trade. And I'm also under seven, so. No, yeah, yeah, totally agree with that. Just saying, uh, we Ten. have a new leader now. Uh, yeah, no. I, I, I mean, with, with without the ore, it's so. difficult, but sure. Is there any? And, uh, it's. On the board? Yeah, I, I've got some. Uh, um, she's also got some. Just... To trade, uh, would you want some wood? Probably oh. not. Two yeah. woods? Uh, yeah, I can do two woods for... All right, I'll do that. Great. Are you sure? Wait, Yupin, this brings you over seven cards, and it puts you in danger of getting seven out by the robber. So, I mean, if you want to play with fire, you can. I just advise against it. Up to you, up to you. You have a 60% chance. Will you do it over chance. turn? No, it's now or never. I mean, I can give you the sheep also, Yupin. Wait, no, you're running out of time. Oh, you're looking for so wood. Oh, wait, never mind. Either accept it or uh, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, it's bad. Hello. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't like doing trades like that since it's uh, a little big for us. That's okay. I took the risk. Hey, I'll hey, give you, you a I'll give you a wheat if you don't steal from me. I'll give you a wheat. You you block me. Me. Uh, you you a wheat. Uh, same deal. I will give you. So, in this spot, it's actually really interesting because as soon as I hear Orange offer the same deal, I should tell Orange, yo, Orange, 
She is getting a city with this wheat. Let's not guarantee her city and both attract our deals. And, you know, she's probably just going to rob me. Let her rob me, you know, instead of giving her a 100% chance of a city. Let's make it so she has a less than 50% chance of getting a city. Do you have more cards? You... So oh, no worries. You're good. <laughs> You're good. Don't worry about it. Wheat for sheep. It's a city. This is just red settle, and I'm very happy with this. <laughs> this is why I upgraded this, by the way, since it sets me up for red settle. The issue is if I do this right, the pacing is just terrible, and everyone just like pounds the hell out of me. But I think I just gotta do this here. Um, yeah. There's there's no other option. But is, I'm gonna really start getting pounded over here. Okay, so she needs a sheep for a D card right here. Um, I've got no sheep, Yupin. This time, this time, orange has more cards. And yes, uh, but you have the bricks. Do do I don't have bricks. I don't have bricks. I'll give you my next brick if you don't steal from me. Yo. Uh, it's okay. I'll just. Oh my god. All right, now I have bricks. <laughs> I gotta play this. Um, in this spot, I know that Raymond is just gonna be hammering the shit out of D's, and I do have positioning on him. And in his spot, he has a bunch of wheat though. Uh, he has, don't think he has very much sheep, but he does have ore. Uh, I, I could extort well here. Recently, so yeah, it's fine. Has, uh, right. He got my ore too. Uh, anyone want brick at all? Let's see. It's, I think it's time to stop. Like, he's running away with the game, so... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this pacing's sort of nasty. I need to just get get on a port and just start uh, smashing Ds. Yeah, I don't think I can trade away brick too easily here. I might have to just drop a road and then pass. But the issue is, if I drop a road here, right, can she cut me off? I think the answer to that is probably no. And I do need to go ahead and drop a road here. So her hand has three wheat in this spot. Three wheat, one ore, one wood. That was her hand. Now it's multiple woods. So now she's gonna be trying to trade for a, uh, for two cards of four for one for this spot. Okay, got it. Um, well, she needs to break the sheep still. In this spot, always, eight. For some more. I have a zero war in hand. It's a literally all. Uh, oh, okay. All wooden wheat. You want you want bricks? Uh, no, I I am right. trying for a city eventually. All right, he has all wooden wheat, so he's told me he has three wheat, one ore. It's fine. It's fine to hold here, guys. I'm probably gonna get robbed again. You've been. I can give you a brick if you don't steal from me. You just still put it on my spot, but I'll give you a break. Anyway. Blocking both just... of us is fine. So now she's she's but one or off in the city. Like she didn't get the... do a trade. I can give you a break. Uh, this is the trade. She wants wood to See, fourth the issue one. is that all right now. Like wheat is worth. Yeah. Wouldn't the three one port be better? Right um, I want this right now no, because this is temporary. If I if I no. once she gets this, she's gunning for this wood port. So if I don't get this right now, she's gonna get it. I mean, in this spot, like because of my poor pacing, right? Like it's, it's I'm not in a super good position to like you know, table talk or fight back. So I'm just gonna be getting gang robbed. Um, then I sort of just have to get gang robbed. It's fine. It's it's also just because of a matter of poor pacing. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Right, so. It's okay. Don't eat this. Yeah. I'm sorry, Delighted. I think you're winning by a lot. So. Alright, that's fine. It's not really a. Yeah, it doesn't question. matter. I, in, in this spot, like, just don't um, don't bother table talking. Sorry. And I think the most annoying thing you can do to someone is try and table talk uh -huh. when you're obviously winning. Um, and so, right. I don't want to do that. It's just a waste of my time. Four. So, I might be able to get a brick for sheep spot. No, I don't think any sheep is out there on this board. I can try it, but it also just reveals my hand. I'm not sure how many of these guys track. I just pass here and just wait for a settlement. I think the way we win this is, I mean, it's, I can just plow orange, plow orange, and then have them be the army. Bitch. I guess what if you already do have the wheat. What you want for the brick? Uh, what can you I... offer? Let's go ahead and roll first. Oh, I guess I, I can, can offer do... an ore. I can do this, and then I can do this. Since I can still lose half my hand to seven, so I think I might need another card here. One sec, I kind of need both. Uh, okay, I, she... I will take that ore for the... Oh, oh. Ooh. Okay, I mean, I don't mind two cards. I'll do this one. Oh, oh, take um, that. Yeah, I'll do that instead. Yeah, I'll do, do that one too. Uh, I'll, I'll give two cards. Sure, I'll, two, I'll give two cards then. If other people are saying yes, I'll just give two cards. I'll do this. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That's G. There's no trade over there. Nice job, Red. Yeah. Okay, so if I roll a seven, I still can still have a settlement here. That sucks, but it's whatever. What's yeah. up? What'd you want again? Uh, a sheep. He's yeah, what sheep. can you offer? Uh, what do you need? Yeah, I'm looking for ore, obviously. That's pretty much it. I mean, if I'm gonna give you a dev card, then... Yeah, that's... Okay, that's cool. It's fine. Just pour for it. There's two Ds. No one else has any Ds. That sucks. Another another, another nine gone. But I think it's fine. Just go over here. The issue is I'm pacing way too quickly. Uh, I'm just gonna start getting absolutely, like, pounded after this. I have to buy another D here. Uh, just protect myself. As soon as I dropped a hanging road over here, I think these guys should have tried to uh, get right yeah, over here. Like and the reason guy, for that is because... But... 
does anybody see themselves fighting for road? Who's that, Raymond talking? Yeah, he's, um, he's good board awareness. If there's somebody who can feed me wood, then I potentially could. He's probably needs like to save none first. of us make bricks. I feel like we've basically lost road already, so... Yeah, it's, it's, it, is, it is sort of an unbalanced game. Effective seven. Related, long time viewer, first time caller, I have a question for you. Yeah, what's up? Do you think that a city is better on the 348 or on the 36? I think uh, porting everything for roads is the best play. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm a, it's a tournament, so I'm not sure if I should uh, answer that question. I think it's, that's for you, to, for you to decide. That's a good question, though. It, it depends what his hand is and what's his plan. The thing with this is, like, you're upgrading more wood, and it sucks. I mean, no matter what, you're upgrading wood. Uh, but I think this is slightly better. But I think upgrading this triple shared ore is also not bad at all. The 11 did roll, right? 11 and 3 did roll. So he's probably... Is he going to buy another D here? Let's see what he's thinking about. Yeah, he buys another D here. Got it. Dude, this 5 is just way better. Uh, now I think that the issue right now is no one's really competing with Raymond for army, uh, for like knights, which is why, which is why I'm doing this. Oh, I have zero knights played, and you have. Oh, you have three nine deaths, but so yeah, 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 I, I get it. That's we're competing with you for army. So if anything, you guys <laughs> should help me stop delighted from getting road and army and winning next turn. So it would take me three turns if I had three knights to get army. You need to buy one knight. He's and got play a point. Road and He's got a point. Nine. I can give you, I can feed you wood for roads. But Dude, he I needs to be taking road. Sheep. Dude, what the hell? This guy is not going to be able to take roads, man. What the hell? Okay, I honestly think I'm not exaggerating here. We all need to make a plan right now to slow Delighta down because good, he is good. one road away from road. Good, that's good. seven. That's one night away from army. That's nine. That's good. And one settlement and he wins. So I, I really think that we need to pick one person we try to up get road yeah. and one person that that's should be me that's good we try good. to get army guys like no he's and we should all be trading with each other yeah. and embargoing him at that's this good. point that's good it's that serious in my opinion. it's that serious no he's right he's right so i have a year of playing and i can make two bricks for you if that helps you start take road yeah i can give you two or for that oh but i just actually i just played a night yeah okay next turn I'll make you the two bricks. Sorry. Bad. Ten? That's quite good for me. Uh, that sucks I have to do four to one. I mean, I could try trading with Red, right? Then, <laughs> I mean, I can try trading with Red. And she's not doing anything, but I doubt it. Uh, I mean, I could try it, but I I'm pretty sure she's going to say no. Hey, Red, would you want something like this? We're not We're not or trading with you anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> you can make your own. I can. I don't think you get a dev right here. Uh, you could. It's... it's I think getting a settlement here is a little bit better. The reason why I think this is slightly better, because it makes it so I can use my hand a lot more, since this turns into a free card, I can start porting for, for army now. I think this is just a little bit better long term. But yeah, everyone's like really on my ass now. Uh, but no matter what, they're going to be on my ass no matter what. Can I try and give you something for that wheat so I can use that to get road? Yeah, he can take road, but the thing is, what they don't realize is, right, like, you have to like, do more than just five. Like one, two, three, four, this? five, six, seven, right? They have to do more than just five. Since if I connect, which I already have in hand, if they're tracking, or they should know that. They have to get eight roads. So the situation is a little bit more sus than you think. Yeah. So he's going to use gear plenty instead of knights actually really good for me. If you want to take road, you can. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'll do it. You have to clue really quickly. Yeah. Go, go, go. They should be doing this. They should. Five. Good. All right, you got one brick. I'm literally denying myself a city so we can Good, good. Hey, uh, for your roads, can you try and cut off uh, to the 411 to cut off orange? Since ideally what you want is, right, you get orange to be, like, holding army, then you jack road, then I just do nothing. No, no, no. I, I don't want to eat any more bricks. Yeah. It's just about cutting off the orbit sheep player, but it's fine. And I'm, I'm not bullshitting, too. Like, I think 411 is honestly a fine play. All right, that's not good for you guys. Uh, he could mono me, too. That's, that's another option. Um, I have two knights, so I think I'm just going to take army before he buys another knight, right? Good, good. Yeah. So you should do that. I, I could make you the bricks, but that... I don't think that's no, it's fine, good. it's fine. That's good. Uh, let's see, what he steals here actually matters a lot. If he that's takes the wood, point. okay. Ooh, another brick. So this is why this is why I've gone on the 3-1 port, right? He has two knights and he has one year plenty, that's what he said. Um, the issue is he gets army before me. Oh, it's pretty gross. Maybe I should have bought a D the last turn? No, I don't think you should have, that's a little bit too hindsight. This, you need the port, I think it's fine. So I could also plow here. And if I plow here, then it lets me do army or road. And I think that's slightly better. It's ignoring road, and that lets him take army the next turn, right? If I plow here, road settle, and uh, that takes away his spots. And I'll just be the person plowing, and then I'll fight for road. Yeah, I think this is fine doing this. 
taking away his spots. Yeah, I could port everything for a dev oh, card too, okay. right? And the reason why I'm buying a dev is better, because knight is good. I mean, it's yeah. it's all right. VP is fine, mono is fine, road bidding is fine, Europe is fine. So this is just buy D. Uh, so get a VP. That's perfect. So I just have to get road now. So this is fine. Or or can get to ten too. I, and <laughs> yeah, so they can't rob me now. Here's the thing. I'm a man of my word. Yeah, and you said no. You said a non block from a while back. So and I have no cards yeah, too. I I can't. I can't not. Oh, he follows through. All right. I didn't think he would. I thought he'd lie. Um, thank this you, Miles. I appreciate it. All game. This is the first seven I rolled all game. When I do the Europe funny thing, so please just. Uh... <laughs> Fair enough. He uh, should know. He should know right here that I could have. I could um, have largest army. Um, I, I'll, I'll just wait for his turn. Yeah, and then he also he owes me like a non steal. It's so, like these Pretty future trades. Bad. Like the thing is, like you know, they, like like thirty um, turns later, I have two things might change. For you, when I do the Europe funny thing, so. Please just. Uh... <laughs> Fair enough. He right. should know. He should know right here that I could have. I could um, have large army. Does army. Have any How do I induce him to think that I have a knight? The other thing. Uh, I mean, I can just say like, I guess army is mine. I could say that. Me, Since if I want him to induce him to play a knight, so then he can't take my large. Or so, so he plays a knight instead. Um, I, I'll, I'll just wait for his turn. I guess. I guess largest army is mine. Okay. <laughs> wait. Why? Why? No, Raymond, use your... Oh, wait, did I say that on stream? Or, I mean, I uh, shoot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chat, I'm, I'm being really well, evil right now. I need to make you show the knight anyway. Okay, good. So I did that because he can't year plenty for the brick. That's why I did that. <laughs> it doesn't matter where I put it because he's going to uh, move it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Just take my shit. I, I can't win the next turn no matter what. I know, that's, I know, I know, I feel bad, I feel bad. I, I just go ahead and just let myself time out. <laughs> I rolled a 7, okay. I feel bad, guys. That was pretty dirty. Um, i just do this. Okay, I wasn't tracking. Um, I could take from orange here, I could take from green here. I think taking from green here is fine, and the reason because of that is get wood, and I uh, sort of want to... Uh, and so now it just lets me do 9, 8 to win, so I think it's fine. Or or that's fine too, but it's probably gonna get jacked, so it doesn't really matter. You just stole an or, just so you know. Okay. I'll do this. <laughs> okay. I can use it. Cool. I lied. I'm making a city. Mm, okay. Oh man, you followed through with the word that one time, but no, then no, you no. lie. Dude, I know we can't even feed you road, and oh, I guess we can. Uh, they gotta yeah. watch out when the eight four nine four nine ten. Uh, okay, city lose. first city. There we go. And watch out, guys. I feel less bad. Okay. See, I want to make you the two bricks, right? I will give uh, you. Okay. I have How much? Ore. I literally only have ore. So. Yeah, I'll take the ore. I'll um, do two ore. You got a promise to three ore, and you got a promise to um. Seven, one, two, three. To build roads. I I promise to build roads with the next brick I have. I mean, I'm just also a little bit concerned considering you also have two dead cards. I don't. I, have, I have more knights probably. Yeah, uh, he has a victory point for sure. I'm not sure what the other dev card is. I promise you I don't. I promise I don't. If he has more knights. Okay, if he has five knights, then that's good for me since that increases the chances. Look at this five knights inside the deck. So that means there's only f there's only nine knights left. So if there's only nine knights left and there's one victory point, um, that means there's four VPs, two, uh, one VR plenty, two monos, two road bidding. So if, because of because of that, if I add it all up, it's two, two, it's two, all right, two, two. One, five, five, four, nine, nine versus nine. It's a 50 50. Yeah, so Alright, it's a 50 50. I draw something good here. So I think you definitely want to pull here. So I've got a mono. That's quite nice. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty. That's, they're pretty fun. Yeah, keep, keep robbing me. Alright, so I used my one non block. Where should I put it on the nine? You said it was a non steal for the second one, remember? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so I can't. Add you can put it on me. Put just don't steal from me. Four. Put it on the four wood. That way he can't build roads. No, if you put it on the four, you'd steal stealing from me. Put it on the eight or ten so you can steal from orange. Oh, yeah. I, I have to steal from you right now. Sorry. All right. Like, Can you do one more? He needs I, to do one I more. He needs to do one more. Because, yeah, nine's game, guys. Because I just mono road. How many more roads do you think you're going to need to, like, secure road? He needs one more, I think. That's cool. Take that. That's cool. Play a knight. Steal call. from me. Yeah. I just need a nine to win. Oh, that's a good block. Good block. Good block. Four. Eight. All right. Big moment in the game here. What should you do? Play the Monopoly? Hold it? And if you do play it, what do you play it on? What about monoing ore to try to get cities? Remember, if you waste this monopoly, it may just cost you the game. Hey, this is a tough turn and I actually messed this up myself. So I'm gonna make you a deal. If you make the correct decision and comment down below, 
I'll heart your comment and I'll tell you good job. But if you don't get it, then you're forced to like the video, all right? All right, do the quiz and comment down below and give me that sweet YouTube engagement. So in this spot, right, is there enough wheat to do a mono? Because I need uh, a total of three, three, twelve. So I need twelve wheat from this. If I need twelve wheat from this in total, then I need a total of eight wheat. So if I mono I here, I need eight wheat. Can I get eight wheat from this monopoly? That's a question. I don't think I can. Since if I get eight wheat, right, I port, 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 connect and win. I think you just have to pass here. I don't think you can get eight wheat, but maybe I'm wrong. I um, just just start watching out for green since uh, I, and once he locks red, like he's basically done it. Uh, it's I mean, he's got he's yeah, got his set up no, very, right. very well. We for can't one. help him. We can't help him extend anymore. Uh, gotta... Doc, you got to build at I'm least one himself. road. <laughs> I have to really track better. Miles, so those aren't yeah. VPs, are they? No, they're not. OK, good. I uh I don't know how much I trust that, but um whatever. <laughs> I I am a man of my word. These are not I mean, you built a city when you said you're gonna give out more words. That's fine, whatever. Well, I built a city when okay. I was gonna get a development. Uh, mono. To be fair. Uh, I don't think I would play a knight here. Say I'm looking for ore for a road. If I did, then road bidding. Okay. Uh, he needs to do this. Eleven. Yeah, I wow. I could mono wood for sure to win, right? Since I, at least I get four wood, and if I get four wood, then I port, 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 and that's the game. I'll think about it. Yeah, four wood. Oh, Mono oh that's, that has to be game. Yeah, guys, that's the game. I think... Aw, uh, damn. What the? Yeah, good game. Oh, guys, I'm a dumbass. I had the wood port. That was fun, and we did uh, good. We held out a little longer. Dude, I had the wood port. No, I did, I did have the win. I totally coordination. forgot about the wood port. I should have done that. Oh, my God, I'm a dumbass. Oh, <laughs> that's the, the, the New York strength for you. Damn, dude. Um, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. All right, yeah, that's a good game, though. But you guys could play well. Um, and well done for Raymond and Miles and, and oh, just to everyone in general. Uh, you guys did a good job colluding. Um, yeah, like well played. I, I seriously thought you played well. I talked on stream about how, how well you guys played. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. The next one is gonna be the finals. And I promise you, it's a really, really fun one. With that said, thank you so much. I'm delighted and I hope you learned something. Uh, quick, uh, that was a pretty, pretty nice game. I uh, obviously got quite lucky with the nines. You can't deny that. Um, and the brick stronghold significantly helped me out a lot. And um, I think some of the, the trades right here, I was able to get it. They gave me a city way too easily. Don't worry, you guys played well. I thought you guys played pretty well. I don't think I should have gone for this. Yeah, at the very end, you should have extended one more. Since if I connect, um, if I connect, right, that's sort of nasty for you guys. Since that's eight roads and you're only at seven. So I think you only need to build one more road. And that would force me to build another road. And, this just, and I couldn't do it. Right. Yeah, I think I got greedy and was trying to pull when I should have yeah. built a road and or at least a settlement to get another guaranteed victory point. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really see a path to, to winning, so I was just trying to pull as much as possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh well, good game.